What's going on today, people? Well, it happened. We got snow today for the first time. Kids were out of school and all that. It's a, it's a snowy day outside. It's supposed to be snowing more today, later on tonight. And they don't have school tomorrow. It's the start of the uh, vacation from hell for parents. But mine 17 stays in the room and does nothing but play video games. So it's no big deal, honestly. Uh, but how's the weather where everybody else is? Y'all getting snow now? Or you get, is it sunny and warm? Or how is it? Um... Also today I was thinking about uh, a lot of things, <clears throat> mainly my granddaughter, she's sick right now, she's uh, not feeling too good and it sucks because it's cold outside, she likes to uh, go and do lots of things and be rambunctious because she's only two and a half, but thinking about her a lot today and just thinking about life in general. If you don't slow down and think about life in general, then where are you going to be in five years or ten years or anywhere in the future if you don't think about life and everything in the way it is? I'm a pretty pissed off person most of the time, so it's uh, kind of hard for me to slow down and think about anything else but being uh, upset with lots of things in life. You know, I uh, imagine a lot of you all are the same way uh, with uh, with the things the way things are and the way things happen and the way things uh, go. Uh, but it's time to s stop and think for a little while. It's like 2017 now, or five days in. Uh, lots of good things to look forward to our families and having a roof over our head and being able to sleep in our bed and things like that I imagine there's some of you out there don't, aren't able to do that but you know, for the most part I imagine most of you are what's up Boatwright how's things going tonight just sitting here talking about nonsense that's what I usually do How's the baby doing tonight? That uh, many me of you. <laughs> That's what it is, a many me of you. Looks just like you. But, uh, what's on your all's mind tonight? What are you all thinking about? I'm thinking about it's really cold. And I think I'm going to go eat me some soup. Been up since 5 a.m. Why? Why would you be up since 5 a.m.? <clears throat> and stuff. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Eat me some soup. The soup and some crackers. Wish I had some peanut butter and bread, but I don't think I do. Maybe. I'll have to look and see if I do. But reminds me of uh, my friend CJ. Me and him. Me and him. Uh, we uh, used to live in Michigan, and we used to eat chili, and uh, we used to do eat uh, peanut butter sandwiches with it. And let me tell you, that's some good food right there, chili with peanut butter sandwiches. Usually when you go to the school for their functions around here, when they have, like, you have to go and um, get your kids grades or whatever, they usually feed you, and it's usually chili and grilled cheese. Let me tell you. There's a time when that stuff was good. Now they use wheat bread for everything, and Michelle Obama has really just screwed up everything for the kids. As my my son would say, screw Michelle Obama. He hates it because they don't get to drink no pop. They don't get to have anything with sugar in it because she thinks that the United States has nothing but fat people in it. And, uh, yeah, so I think it's a horse there's a bunch of horse crap that it'd be like that even the school pizzas have changed since we were in school used to be cool to go to school because you eat 
uh, those peaches all the time and those peaches were good what's up Anthony pimento cheese sandwich is good with chili also hey man I'll have to try that I haven't done that before what's going on in your part of the world Anthony I like pimento cheese Hope don't like it too much over there I don't think she eats it very much do you yeah I think I, I, I've i decided that I'm going to do uh, tuna fish with uh, ranch next time because I get these little packets of tuna fish they're blue and they're in the in the tuna fish aisle and I got one that's um, tuna fish ranch I'm like man that's some good stuff I think you can put ranch on anything it probably taste make it taste good when we make when we buy those cheap pizzas we usually put like uh, uh, some kind of salad dressing on it or we dip it in salad dressing make it taste better snow that's about it yeah it snowed here we're supposed to get a bunch more snow, I guess, tonight. Kids are out of school tomorrow. Where are you at, Anthony? Uh, but, yeah, that's how you cover up the taste of it. Last night we got some pizza for us to eat and got it home. And it was, uh, mine was raw on one part. Well, not really raw. It was just not cooked all the way, I guess. So it was kind of gooey and it made me sick after I looked at it. And uh, it was high, half price pizza night, and I should have only got one pizza and cheese bread because cheese sticks because we had uh, a whole one left over. Oh yeah, I like I like Frank's Red Hot too. I I put that in my uh, my hamburger helper and a lot of other stuff that I eat. And. Uh, Mrs. Dash a lot. Use a lot of Mrs. Dash on everything. I think I use all five of them to do something with every once in a while. But, uh, oh, bath can. Cool. Cool, yeah. Did you get a lot of snow down there? We didn't get a lot of snow here yet. It's supposed to snow tonight, too. I, uh, they say. I don't know. Plus, it's supposed to be cold, right? Hope for like the next three days. Yeah. So, we're going to be stuck like a bunch of rats because you can't get off this hill where I live unless you're going to slide down it because once it gets cold it's like a solid sheet of glass to go out on that stuff plus the road you know if it gets cold it's like glass on that too so it's better just stay in and buy your time that way I guess that's usually what we do anyway we've been kind of being prepared for this for a while though because Usually uh, around January 2nd when the kids go back to school, they don't go back to school. They usually have vacation for a month because it snows and snows and snows and snows and snows more. One or two inches in the driveway and grass areas. Oh, cool. Are y'all supposed to get more snow tonight? I think the weatherman said it's supposed to start again at what time, 11 or 12, Hope? 11 or 12 o'clock tonight. We'll see what happens. But other than that, there ain't nothing exciting going on. Done a bunch of interviews today for the website. Did interviews with some Power Rangers and some Walking Dead walkers and Walking Dead uh, uh, saviors and uh, what else was there that I did? I did a couple band interviews. I did uh, mostly Power Ranger stuff because the new Power Ranger movie's coming out. So I wanted to put a bunch of Power Ranger stuff up. Yeah, one to three inches. Yeah, extra. Yeah, but I want to do uh, some, you know, do Power Rangers, and I'm trying to get some uh, interviews with Transformers. Because, uh, the, you know, Transformer movie's coming out uh, later this year, supposedly, too. But uh, we'll see how that goes. And then just random interviews with people that are famous that, you know, are in different fields and things like that. But there's going to be a lot of stuff coming on Blast Zone Online. Just do a search for Blast Zone Online on your, on your uh, search bar there and you'll find it. Uh, starting on January 12th. 
We're going to have 30 days of Walking Dead interviews leading up to February 12th when the new uh, part of that second second part of the seventh season comes on. Um, if you're a Walking Dead fan, you can come there and you can read a bunch of interviews. I've got a whole lot of Walking Dead interviews there. Um, we're also doing um, 365 wrestlers in 365 days. That's something else I'm doing. That's a wrestler every day, a pro wrestler. That'd be WWE, Ring of Honor, or um, some independent wrestler. Because at the end of the day, they're all pro wrestlers, right? Also doing Where Are They Now? We Are The World. Doing that on there. Um, like I said, we'll be doing the Power Rangers thing. Uh, here shortly um, Just a lot of different things I write about a bunch of different things, you know put up news put up about uh, um, Lita and Jerry Lawler supposedly not being part of uh, anything on the live uh, Commentary stuff anymore um, Kind of sucks as a rooting Jerry Lawler out me and my wife met him in uh, Nashville one year and he was uh really uh was really cool he uh was down to earth guy i was really surprised how nice the guy was you know plus he's a great artist too he'd uh draw people uh these cartoon type uh pictures for a couple dollars plus his pictures weren't very much and to get a picture with him wasn't very much either you know it wasn't like uh and, you know, wasn't wasn't like uh, a whole lot of money. Um, thrash grass. I never heard of thrash grass. Can you fill me in on what that is? Is that like thrash music but bluegrass? I always thought that thrash was almost like bluegrass anyway, because bluegrass you play their instruments fast, and most of the time bluegrass is about somebody dying or or uh, some kind of morbid stuff most of the time. Uh, I blast so fast to come back around this area. Yeah, I wish so, man. I wish I could. Those things are so hard to do, and you know, just to do it's so uh, trying, you know. Uh, I'll be 45 this year, and it takes a lot out of you when you do those things. Thrash crash, you're correct. Hey, Anthony, send me something where I can check it out. Because there's some cool bands, man. Maybe I'll do something with them for my website, too. I wouldn't mind doing another show, you know. It's going to be uh, 10 years this year, I do believe, since the Blast Zone uh, thing in the park we did here in West Liberty. It'd be kind of cool to do it again in the park if you know I could get some people together and it wouldn't cost me a fortune to do it. And... Uh, you know, I've been concentrating on my record label, trying to put out some vinyl and stuff like that right now. You know, I've been doing that and doing, uh, you know, doing the website. You know, the website keeps me from going insane, you know, because, um, you know, I love doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Were you at the first one? Uh, most of them bands are broke up now. It's, it's wild, you know, there's very few of those bands from 10 years ago that are still together. Zero King's one of them that are still together. But other than that, all the bands that were on that show are pretty much gone. It'd be kind of cool if a couple of them got together just to do a 10th anniversary of that show. You know, at this rate, uh, the next one after that would be, uh, I'll be 55 and then 65, and then 75, you know, if I did one every 10 years. Oh, you were all at all the local shows. Okay, cool. Yeah, we had a good time, man. The Woodman of the World show was awesome. You know, when we did those shows at Woodman of the World, those were awesome. And, you know, we did that one with Lita up in Moorhead. And we had the uh, club in Mount Sterling for a while. And, yeah one thing I have is a rich history of music you know growing up my mom was a gospel singer and I guess she kind of spread that love of music to me and uh, 
I just took it by the reins and kept on doing it, you know? Uh, my son loves music, but I don't think he'll ever get in any kind of music field. That's not like his thing, you know? He does love music, and it's cool when I'll go by his room and I hear, like, Poison or L.A. Guns or Guns N' Roses or something like that. How you get your head busted open? Oh, my goodness gracious. That's funny. That's probably one of the wild times of when we did something there because we, we had some pretty wild shows there. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people wish that I'd do them again, you know. They ask me all the time, are you going to do another show? Are you going to do another show? You know, if it went for the political bullshit in this town, then maybe we could do a show again. But for me to rent that place for as much money as they want me to in the park, it's just not worth it. It costs me too much money, plus, you know, trying to get sound and lights and all that kind of stuff. I wish that, uh... The city of West Liberty for the Sargon Festival would just give me uh, some time and we could put a couple bands on the show for Sargon Festival. But, you know, that's never going to happen. You know, these people, I don't know. Even when marijuana comes legal, they'll probably try to figure out a way to make it non legal. Band threw a CD out and the dude next to me went to grab it, caught me above the eye with a big scoring. Holy shit. I bet that sucked. I remember I remember uh, seeing typo negative at a place called the brewery in Louisville. The Thunderdome, brewery Thunderdome in Louisville. And uh, I was standing up front and this girl had these combat boots on, comes off the stage and kicks me right in the face with them. I'm like, holy shit, where'd that come from? But I remember that, that's, I think that's one of the only times I was smashed in the face by anything, and that was a big boot from some chick. Speaking of those times, man, Louisville was a blast up there when I used to go to shows up there when I lived up there. I bet you, the whole time I lived up there, I went to probably 365, 400 shows. Seen everybody from Pantera to uh, Pearl Jam to... Uh, Guar to Lewis or Cole, you name it. Back in the day when the Toy Tiger was there, that was some that was some cool stuff there now, let me tell you. But I guess I'll get off here for the night and let you all have the rest of your night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.